Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some new Arrowverse breaking news in regards to a new show. You guys are going to be freaking out over this, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so we have new breaking news in regards to a character from the past, an actor from the past, who has regularly appeared recently. Now, that person is, of course, David Ramsey, who plays John Diggle. So, for a while now, we've been speculating what is David Ramsey's future in the Arrowverse. Like, what is Diggle going to do? Because they've set up this whole Green Lantern thing, but they haven't gone ahead with it. They've been leading towards somewhere. And it's been, like, hinted on every show, because he did show up on Superman Lois. Batwoman, Supergirl, and The Flash, and now he's showing up again in Batwoman this year. But with this new news, we kind of know where this is going. And this isn't to say David Ramsey isn't going to show up on any of the Arrowverse shows again, like as a crossover character, apparently he still is. So be expecting those guest spots to continue with David Ramsey whilst he's in Vancouver, and it seems he's going to be in Vancouver quite a lot. So this is coming from a report over on Deadline. I'll leave the link in the description below to the article if you want to read it afterwards. So this is how the title goes. David Ramsey to star in Arrowverse series, Justice U in the works at the CW. Okay, so we're going to read out the article. David Ramsey is putting together a new gang of superheroes for the CW. The actor who plays John Diggle in Arrow as well as a number of the other DC related series is to headline Justice U, which is in development at the youth skewing broadcaster, the CW. Ramsey's Diggle is a former bodyguard and master sergeant in the US Army, as well as a co founder of Team Arrow. In the new series, which is set in the Arrowverse, after years of fighting alongside masked heroes, Diggle embarks on a new mission to recruit five young meta humans to live undercover as freshmen at a prestigious university. There, he will oversee their education and train them to become the heroes of tomorrow. In addition to starring in the series, if it is picked up to pilot, Ramsey, who has directed a number of Arrowverse episodes, will helm the pilot. It comes as Ramsey, who has also featured on Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, The Flash, Batwoman, and Superman Lois, has struck an overall directing deal with Berlanti Productions, and will held multiple episodes of series within the Arrowverse alongside guest starring in others. Based on the DC Comics characters, the series comes from Superman Lois co-executive producer Michael Nudasi, who has also worked on series including The Vampire Diaries and the Originals and Grey's Anatomy executive producer Zoan Clack. Okay, so that does it for the report. Let's break this down. So this is a new series coming to the CW. You have to remember recently, most of the series that have been announced by the CW actually haven't gone ahead. So we have the Gotham Knights series and this. They're the only ones in production that are Arrowverse related that I know of right now. Because the other ones have been put to bed. So that is Green Arrow and the Canaries. That never went ahead past their backdoor pilot that they did on Arrow. And then also we have Painkiller which never went ahead past this Black Lightning episode. And then also Wonder Girl was the other show that didn't go forward at the CW. So, not a very good track record recently of Arrowverse shows going ahead. However, Naomi is a new show which literally just premiered the other day. That is an example of one that did go ahead and properly went through the pilot and now is having a whole season and hopefully it's going to be really good. Haven't got around to watching it yet, but I will watch it this week. And so hopefully you guys are going to watch it as well to support the new Arrowverse series. But this is extremely intriguing. I think this is the most intriguing out of all the Arrowverse shows, even though the Gotham Knights one sounds really cool, but this is the fact that David Ramsey is literally spearheading this whole project. He's not only starring in the show as one of the lead characters, but he's also going to be directing the first episode at least, and probably lots of episodes as the season goes on. So, he's going to be coming back as John Diggle, he's going to be spearheading this show, he's going to be headlining it, and I think it's very interesting because you have a show like Green Arrow and the Canaries that didn't go ahead and everyone was like, okay, so maybe we weren't the biggest fan of Mia, 
but it's still a shame that we don't get any Arrow spin-off, like the legacy of Arrow doesn't continue. But then we had Diggle showing up on the other shows, so it was very nice to see an Arrow character. And now with this, this is essentially an Arrow spin-off, even though it isn't like directly Arrow related. The fact that John Diggle is leading the show means it's an Arrow spin-off at the end of the day. So that's extremely exciting. Now what does Justice U mean? Well, when I read it I thought, Justice United. Now that's the only thing that's popped into my head and I could be totally wrong about it. It could mean Justice University I guess, because you know, they're going to a college and it's a university and they have to go in undercover. But anyway, so it reads as a Teen Titans kind of show, you know, like a Young Justice League show. So maybe this is the Arrowverse's version of Young Justice, which is something that we've waited for for a long time. And we've been theorizing, like, is a Legion of Superheroes show going to come? I don't think it's going to come after this because this pretty much reads as a similar thing. Yes, Legion of Superheroes isn't specifically about what this has been described as but it's a group of heroes and they've already got their own legends but obviously that's kind of like a comedy, it's not really a team up show at the end of the day well it used to be but now it's not and so this fills that quota and I don't think whilst this show is on and if it does go past pilot and into a full season I don't think we're going to be seeing a Legion of Superheroes spin-off show from Supergirl so let's read the description so set in the Arrowverse, which is great to have confirmation after years of fighting alongside masked heroes like Oliver Queen, aka the Green Arrow, Diggle embarks on a new mission to recruit five young metahumans to live undercover as freshmen at a prestigious university. So, who are these five young metahumans? It could be anyone. Now, there is a new character, a new Legion character that they just announced is coming to the Flash. Could be that they're setting up her because most of the Legion characters tend to be a bit younger. I would love, now, I don't know if it makes much sense because she's quite advanced compared to what they're describing here, but I would love Nia to show up on the show. I think it would be the perfect opportunity because they can bring in any characters that they want. So I think it would be great. I don't know if she's gonna come in as like a more mentory character similar to Diggle. That would be cool if we get that Supergirl spin-off link to this new show. But by the description of the students, it seems like they have a lot to learn and I feel like Nia is quite advanced. Even though she does have more to learn, I don't know if she fits into that strict quota that they have here. But you have to remember that this literally specifies five young metahumans. So they have to be young, right? and there has to be five of them, and they have to be metas. So that means lots of superpowers, and this isn't going to be as grounded as Arrow, even though John Diggle is in charge, and he doesn't have powers yet. And that's a big yet, because maybe at this point he's going to be Green Lantern, and he's going to be teaching them. What happens if it's a kind of Green Lantern type show, even though we're probably not going to have like a bunch of Green Lanterns because they have that HBO Max series they're working on. But it's interesting that he's going to oversee their education as a leader. So I think that's an interesting angle that we haven't had in any of the Arrowverse shows yet. And he's going to train them to become heroes of tomorrow. So similar to the Legends of Tomorrow. But these people are definitely less advanced as, say, the Legends were in their specific fields. So in addition to starring in the series, and he will be the star of the series, he's going to be headlining it, and obviously he's going to have his students, those five heroes. He's also going to be directing the pilot, which is no surprise because it seems like he's like the leading force behind this. He's probably come up with the story, he's probably talked to you know, a couple of creatives and they were like, yeah, let's come up with a story. He was like, I would like to do this with Diggle and they created something around that. But it's just great to see that the future is bright for Diggle and for the Arrowverse as a whole, but mainly to do with Arrow because it's nice to see, you know, some sort of continuation. And so I wouldn't be surprised if David Ramsey ended up directing lots of episodes in season one, in season two, if this actually goes on. And it's also mentioned that he's struck an overall deal with Belanti Productions, which is great. That means you're going to be seeing him direct multiple episodes of the different Arrowverse shows in the future. And alongside that, obviously, he's going to be doing some guest starring spots in those episodes and some other episodes whilst he's up in the area. So with all of this time we're going to be spending with Diggle, 
surely we're going to be heading towards what they've been leading us to believe for a long time. There is no doubt in my mind that at some point he's going to become Green Lantern as we've all theorised and as they've heavily hinted at for a very very long time like since Arrow ended it's been nearly two years or maybe even past that I don't remember it was sometime in January 2020 and since then we've had all the teasers since he showed up again and now he's showing up again in Batwoman I don't expect to get any like concrete answers but maybe they start to hint towards what's going to be happening in Justice U but just quickly before we end this video I don't have any solid bets like I mentioned earlier about the specific metahumans but I wouldn't be surprised if we get like a couple of characters that we've seen in the past maybe they weren't such a big thing on the specific shows they showed up in but you know they could be a big deal and so you know we're probably gonna see a couple of people that we've seen before but they will probably introduce new characters I would guess like maybe three of the five would be new and then maybe two we've already seen in the past and you know they just advance those characters further and there's always a chance you're gonna get like crossover characters who will show up and maybe people from past shows that have ended so some arrow characters potentially considering that John Digger was literally spearheading this show and David is so involved so what do you guys think about all of this are you excited for Justice U and lots more John Diggle in the Arrowverse? I certainly am. But for now, if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications to not miss any future videos. Also, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And just as a reminder, remember Superman Lois is on right now. You can check out my review, which is in the top right corner. So that is my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see room.